Zahara Smith's 17th birthday is February 5th, but her family will be celebrating without her and without the closure they need to heal from an eight month long nightmare. It began with an innocent plan to attend a friend's Sweet 16 party and led to Zahira's murder. Tonight, her family and Rochester police renew their pleas for help. It was an unattended target who was struck and killed, who had her whole life ahead of her. An inflated balloon greeted guests. It's among the eerie images, now part of police evidence captured the night 16-year-old Zahira Smith was shot and killed last summer. Uh, at the scene, there was, at the time of the shooting, there we've counted approximately five firearms that were involved. Police say at least a dozen rounds were fired the night of June 4th. The first shots came from a vacant lot across the street from the short-term rental home on Emerson. Then they say some partygoers began returning fire as others ran to get away. Teenagers who are in gangs and who have guns and stuff like this is the result of that. An 18-year-old young lady also at the front of the house was shot but survived. We talked to dozens of people at the scene but eight months later, still no arrest, not even a suspect. I honestly thought we would get more from the public and from the community on this case than, than what we have. Investigators are frustrated. Zahira's loved ones remain heartbroken. They hope a witness, a neighbor, anyone who knows something will help bring closure and healing. We need somebody that would know firsthand what happened. And they need to come forward. Zahira's grandmother, Ann Smith, and her mother, Allie Forrest, are each hosting a birthday celebration in Zahira's honor this Saturday. Dozens have been invited to help them remember a teen they both describe as a good girl who loved fashion, especially 90s fashion, and spoke of attending Spelman University and studying to become a pediatrician. The sergeant and investigators on this case encourage anyone with information to contact them directly or anonymously at Crime Stoppers.